there are great examples of what AI can do for you as long as you use it as a tool, not for something that where you're going to create a whole video or book or anything like that where you're you're relying on the AI to create everything. <laughs> So here are the key steps. It says select the symbol. First, ensure that the smart symbol instance you want to modify is, is selected on the stage. Which, So please ensure that you select the symbol. Access properties panel, panel. Open the properties panel. This is where you'll find the settings. So if we go back to animate, this is selected. We'll go back to properties. All right, we're in properties. Okay, find color effects. Within properties panel, locate the color effects section. All right, so right here, color effects. Now click on the drop down and select alpha. Once alpha is selected, a slider will appear. The slider control controls the occupancy of the symbol. You drag the slider to adjust the occupancy. Okay, so let's go to color effects. We'll select the alpha. Oh, there it is. Awesome. So we're going to move this thing back to here. And then we'll go out three spots. And we will uh, move it up. Oh, there you go. Okay, so another issue we've got is the, the blotchiness of the character. So I told you earlier, I'm not very good at working with the a tween. And now again, a tween is just an automated motion of a character. So let's ask Gemini again. All right, so if we go back to animate, oh, but the classic tween works. Come on, man. All right, well, whatever. The classic team works, so. As long as we got our desired look of what we're looking for, it's fine. All right, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing to here. Oh. What the hell? Okay, that wasn't what we 